Grace and mercy and peace belong to you, from God our Father, and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Two pictures. This first picture was taken in 1940 in Paris. Nazi forces are rolling into Paris, taking over the city and that, that portion of France. And every citizen of Paris knew what that meant. And this is a picture that was taken of a man as he was watching the Nazi forces roll into his city. Now a second picture. Four years later, Allied forces are rolling into Paris. They have driven the Nazi forces out. Paris is free again. As you and I approach the holiday season beginning next week with Thanksgiving. One can be burdened by all the things that are happening in our world and in our culture and in our society. Perhaps there are all kinds of personal anxieties in your own life that threaten to weigh you down. But there is one reality that outshines all the temporary anxieties of this life. And it is the reality of the freedom from the curse and bondage of sin that Jesus, our champion, has brought. Knowing that even in our most hectic of days, our most stressful of moments, you and I possess the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, that he has set us free from the, the curse of the guilt of our own sin because of what he did on the cross and, and because of the, the perfect life he has lived on our behalf. And that means that, yes, even though our emotions will be swayed and will go up and down, because of things going on in our lives or, or in the world around us, there is within us a quiet, steady, unchanging joy that rests not upon us, but rests upon what God has done for you and me in Jesus Christ. And that means that in our most hectic of days, there is within us this, for we know that in Jesus we are free, and in Jesus all is well. We read God's Word from Isaiah chapter 61, the opening verses. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, 
and provide for those who grieve in Zion. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.